Hi besties, welcome to my channel. Hold on, wait till this freaking plane flies over. <sighs> Today we are done. Today we are doing something super cool that I've been super excited to try. I am cleaning my brushes with this wonderful Amazon brush cleaner. Credits to my bestie Carly. She got this for me for Christmas and it just arrived um, a couple days ago in March. Thank you. <laughs> it retails for about like 19 to $22. I have been preparing for this day for quite a while because my brushes are filthy, filthy, filthy. So hopefully it works. It better work or Carly, I'm going to beat you up. But seriously, I hope it works. I know you're supposed to clean your brushes every two to four weeks. Mine is more two to four whenever I want to. And I haven't went to for a while. This is what the package looks like. Of course, it's dented from the wonderful shipping. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Comes with directions. This, I guess it's... Um, I think that's what the little thingies go on. Nice velvet packaging. I think this is, this is the, this is what holds the brushes while you're cleaning them. Uh, then this comes with it, the big bowl. Take this off, it's a cute pink color. If it doesn't work as a makeup brush cleaner, it would definitely be a very cute fish bowl, so I might get a fish. Or I might not because Izzy would eat it. So it just feels like plastic. Here, here's some ASMR for you. These are the brush holders, and they range anywhere from ginormous to super small. We have giant brush heads and we have small brush heads. Heads? Tails? 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 I don't know. The little brush rubber gripper thing holder. So this is all the sizes and it comes with these two little things that go into the, that go into the end of the rubber stoppers. So this part is the one that spins it like crazy. Um, it does take batteries. There are no batteries. It takes two AAA batteries. Good thing I just have them laying around. We're just gonna go ahead and stick one of these in. Yeah, yeah, look at that spin action, baby. I don't really know. You can't really, you can't really get it off once you put it on there, so. Okay, and then let's just put one of these on. Is it, is it supposed to do that? I feel like it's not supposed to vibrate that much. Let me, I can't get it off. I can't get it off now. It does come with directions, so let's read the directions. You need liquid soap and water. That's all you need. So select brush, note the type of makeup. Is it water soluble or non-soluble? I feel like I'm back in organic chemistry. Let's fill this bad boy up. For water soluble makeup, as an example, blusher or loose powder. So we're just gonna do water soluble. Squeeze a small amount, four milliliters. How much water do I put in here? How much dang water? It doesn't say how much water. Add water to the bowl until water level is half the height of the brush brush bristles you wish to clean. Okay, there's a little max um, line on there. Let's open up our water bottle. And we'll fill this about there. I'm gonna add just a couple drops of this. I don't think you're supposed 
Just had a couple drops. Okay, got that soap in there. Direction. Then you put the top on. The soap sounds good. Then you put. I think this the top is supposed to protect you from um, any. Yes, we got a nice dirty brush here with a blue eyeshadow on it. Um, it has a small end. Yeah, so we got the brush on there. It's not. It seriously is like on there super tight. Put it in here. Let's. Oh yeah. Oh, you can already see the powder coming off. Oh gosh, dang, shake it. <gasps> five seconds up and down in the liquid and then spin it in the liquid for 10 seconds and then up above the liquid for 10 seconds and your brush should be clean and dry so let's try it okay turn it on up and down one two three four five then one Eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, it's still blue. It's dry. It's dry. Uh, did it not go in the water? <laughs> it's still blue. But I feel like it was in the water because it's all stirred up. Okay, let's try again. Let's just do it a little bit longer. Okay. We'll really get it in there. Gonna make see it make it touch the bottom. Okay, then I'll bring it up. One. Oh my bristles! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to form it back. It's like still blue. That's just what I'm worried about. Um, <laughs> okay, it definitely messed up the bristles. Um, if you can see, it definitely messed up the bristles. And it's still blue, but it could be stained blue. It could be stained blue. Let's try a different brush. It was in the soap. I just don't feel like the water is blue. Should I add more soap? I don't know. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try a big boy. Okay, here's a dirty one. It's a big one. It's a bronzer brush. It's supposed to be white. Yeah. Okay. It's this one. On here, okay. <laughs> you can really feel. Oh, yeah, I just want to. Okay, I'm gonna give this one just a little brush off because maybe there's too much on it. I'm gonna give this one a little bit of benefit of the doubt, brush some of that excess off. Turn it on. Oh, okay. Let's try again. There we go. Oh. I think I have too much water in there. Okay, up and dry. I'm just gonna try a little bit more. Yeah. Get into it! Get into it! Up. Okay. So the brush is dry. The only thing, I, and I feel like, I don't know, does it still look dirty? Like I don't, yeah, there's still bronzer on there. What am I doing wrong? Let's try again.
Okay, I feel like that's cleaner. Maybe I just need that in two times. Okay. Oh, good work. My water is darker, so that means it definitely worked. Let's try this red one. There's definitely still pigment coming off of it. I'm gonna do the same technique I did with this one and dunk this in first. Yeah. Get it wet. And then put it in. Okay. Oh, the water's turning pink. The water is turning pink. It means it's working. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's dry it. Let's dry it, dry it, let's dry it. <laughs> I'm sticking this one in again and I'm just gonna give it another go because maybe I mean red's hard to get out I'm trying to make as many excuses as I can to show that this works ouch the brush is pretty much dry it is red let's use a makeup wipe and rub on it and see Okay, so there still is some red on there, but I mean, it's kind of clean. It's, it's kind of clean. I want this to work so bad. So let's try the second option. We are going to try this. This is micellar magic water and we are going to try it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this. Um, this is more facial cleanser, but it is makeup cleanser. So I'm going to add this too and see if this works better than just soap and water. All right, I just went and washed it, completely cleared out. So I'm gonna pour this micellar water in here and see if it works. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to use all of it. Yeah. So now we have our micellar makeup cleaning water mixture here. It's very beautiful. I have hope for this. So I got a beautiful dirty foundation brush right here in front of me. And I'm just gonna give it a little tap off just to give it a chance. It's nice and stiff. It has found a lot of foundation. Stick the thingy in there. Let's give it a little. I think it's gonna work. Okay. Here we go. I can already see some color change. I can already say it. Up, oh, let's draw for a second. Back in. Oh yeah, if this doesn't work, I will be hurt. I will be hurt back in. Okay, let's, all right. You know what y'all? <laughs> I think it worked. She is dry. She's not 100% clean, but it is there. And look how dirty that water is. Look how dirty, dirty water. It just blows my mind how dry it gets though. That is one thing is it does dry that baby. When I regularly wash um, my makeup brushes, it take a whole day, 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 one whole 24 hours to dry. And when I go to use them again, they are still wet. So this is, completely dry and that's why I love it so much but we're gonna give this one just another little spin see if we can get the rest of that extra foundation there's definitely still some on there so let's just give it another 10 second splashy splash ten million fireflies really clean this found right foundation brush it did it it really did do it it's definitely a little stained but i mean i feel like it is 90 percent gone it is 90 percent gone for sure and seven years ago it is it's like 90 percent gone and the water is just murky let me okay so let's try an eyeshadow brush with this 
mixture. Definitely a little uh, cleaner. So we have this nice, dirty, a yellow makeup brush here. I mean, yellow, I, you know what I mean. Okay, do a little touch it. You can see some of the powder come off. That's gonna taste great in my lemonade. I'm so glad I'm doing that. And give it some action. It's definitely still yellow. I can see that it's still yellow. But I think the water is definitely turning more yellow. I feel like I'm using one of those mixers that you like um, bake cakes with. That's what I feel like I'm using right now. Pull it up, let it dry. It is dry, that's the best part. Regardless if they're 100% clean, they are dry. So we definitely got um, still a little bit of yellow tint, but it is much, much, it is much, much cleaner than what it was. I'm gonna spin it one more time. Get in there. Okay, she's dry and she's almost fully pink. You know, we just got a nice yellow tint going on there. This is fun. Let's try a different type of brush and see how it works. Right here, I have a small um, little liner brush. It's not really making the bubbles do much. Um, you know, okay, let's bring it up, let it dry. All right, let's take it back in. It's not really doing much. It's not doing a lot. We got some soap on there. If I'm being completely honest, it looks exactly like it did when I put it in the water. So that's, that's fine. It just doesn't do smaller brushes. Mm. No, it's still, eh, yeah. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I want a dirty one, a dirty, dirty brush. This is what I do my under eyes with. It's got some nice purple eyeshadow on there from today. It actually has some pigment on it. I am gonna tap this because get that extra pigment off. Still super purple. Let's see? Indo. <laughs> I have no idea what I was doing. Yeah, this better work. Okay. And off. It's much cleaner than what it was before it went in there for sure. Still yellow. <laughs> so it doesn't work on these. Will it work on paint? Let's try. Let's try. Let's try it. Let's ride. It's, de it's definitely got a lot going on, that's for sure. Oh, yay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Okay, bring it out. Mix those mashed potato. Mix those mashed potato. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix. Mix those mashed potatoes. Mix those mashed potatoes. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix. Hold on. Okay. I can't remember what the original color of these paintbrushes were, but I think it might have been this color. I'm trying to see. I think it was this color. I think it cleaned it pretty good. Yeah, okay, so paint brushes are a yes. I have two more brushes left that I wanna try. Super dirty, we have a super dirty, um, like angled flat brush here. And we have a super dirty angled brush here. Oh, I think this will be pretty awesome. Oh yeah. I'm a little 
confused as to what happened here. I don't know if you can see, but it like only cleaned certain parts of the brush. Hello? I'm just gonna give it a couple more turns. This one's making a lot of bubbles. The only thing that I don't really like about this is that it's being washed in soap and then going completely dry. So when it goes dry, is there still soap left in the brush? Oh, I felt that. Oh, there's still like little patches of blue, but it's pretty clean. Last but not least, we have this beautiful orange angle brush that is going into super dirty water, but I think it is going to, so let's see. I'm not really good at sizing the holes. The orange just went everywhere. What a nice breeze. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Last but not least, the orange. <gasps> it just got all over my nose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got bubbles galore. Dirty bubbles. Oh, it's coming out everywhere. My Chick-fil-A lemonade. You know, like amusement parks where they have that fan. This would be great for that. Oh, yeah. When you're sweating and walking through. Wow. This is one of the best ones I think that we've done. Definitely still some pigment there, but she's pretty much clean if you ask me. And it's dry, the dry part. The, the craziest part. Oh, the water's so dirty. It smells so good though. It smells like oranges. <laughs> and she is beautiful again all right everybody thank you so much for watching but my recommendation is if you're looking for a fast easy way to clean your brushes that's not gonna get them 100 percent done i would get this it's cheap it's 20 dollars. it gets it done it's fun it's cute come on I would definitely get it. I hate cleaning my brushes. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Thanks again, besties, for watching this video. It was really fun for me. Um, so shout out to Carly. Thank you so much for getting it for me. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Things that you want to see me do or any makeup tutorials, please give me ideas. I'll see you next time.